Greetings and thank you so much for the opportunity to come to you this week. A very special week for us as uh, believers as we take time to thank God for sending His Son Jesus and taking time to celebrate with other believers on the goodness of God and all that the coming of the Lord Jesus means to us. This week we want to especially focus on one aspect of who Jesus is and what He means to us in our world today. We want to talk about and meditate on Jesus as the Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7, the prophet Isaiah said, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Over 700 years before the actual birth of the Lord Jesus, there stood this prophet, this man of God, and he foretold, he spoke ahead of time, announcing who this Messiah, this Jesus, whom we refer to as Jesus, would be. And one of the things that he pointed out about this Messiah, about this son who is born to us of the line of David, is that he will be called the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. The Prince referring to him being the ruler, the head, the, the potentate, the king, whose rule and dominion would administer peace, shalom, total well-being, in contrast to rulers and leaders and heads of nations who actually bring chaos, who actually disturb and disrupt the lives of people. In contrast to all of that, here is someone who is the prince, the ruler of peace but also denotes the fact that Jesus is the fountainhead, the source, the originator, the wellspring of peace. Now you and I are living in turbulent times. You and I are living in times when there is turmoil all around us and there's so much that could disrupt our peace at a personal level. So many things happening around us that sometimes seem so chaotic that it disrupts life in every sense, whether it's in the, the way we go about things or even with the, the things that go on in our minds that are so disturbed and troubled. And so this, this yearning for peace, this desire for peace is something that everyone, all of us can relate to. That we say we want to be in a place of peace in a midst of a turbulent world, in the midst of a troubled world, a chaotic world. And in this situation, Isaiah tells us that this Jesus, whom we are celebrating this time of the year, this Jesus is the Prince of Peace. His influence in our lives is going to bring peace to us at a personal level. And yes, indeed, there will be a time when His rule and reign on the earth will be, will be one of peace. But we want to focus in on that personal experience of Jesus as our Prince of Peace. We'll continue this through the course of this week and see how Jesus can be our personal Prince of Peace. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for sending Jesus and thank you that he came to be our Prince of Peace. And we ask, Lord, that we will learn to draw and to receive the peace that he gives to us in our lives in the midst of a turbulent world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.